Octomom, Octomom. I caught Smudgy kissing the Octomom. Hey, I'm Tiger. Yeah, I'm Smudgy. <laughs> and what the fuck is an Octomom? Oh, this Octo- is the mom. Oh, Octo. She's that, she's that ugly, crazy chick that had, you know, eight kids. And oh. she's already got six kids. The Octomom. Octomom. And this is not to be confused with the Tot Mom. <laughs> the, the mom that had tater tots? No, the um, the murder the murderer girl or something. Oh it's a, it's it's a it's like a TV thing. Okay, uh, I haven't seen that on TV, and this is the Tiger and Smudgy show. But I do think they might be making a Japanese movie, uh, Octo Mom meets Tot Mom. Okay, I'm lost, but that's okay. okay I, 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 I usually I usually spend my life that way. Okay, well, this, it's just the things that have been rambling through my head all day long today. <laughs> The Octo Mom and Tot Mom. Octo Mom and Tot Mom. Tot Mom. Um, this is the Tiger and Smudgy Show, powered by Podbean, sponsored by Life Out and MySpace. So there, I had to get that in. I had to get our plugs in. Don't even start <laughs> looking at the levels. I'll smack <laughs> you so fast. Just making fast. sure everything is copacetic. Everything is copacetic, and it's been a while since we did a radio show. I know it has. I know it's been too long. I know you decided that we should take off the month of January because why? Well, because, you know, George Bush left office, and I thought we'd do a little tribute to George Bush and just take off. And, and do nothing. George Bush would do the same. Right. He kind of did that anyway. He spent a lot of time at the ranch. <laughs> and so you figured, um, I mean, it's been a while. You know how to work all of them fancy controls, and you have us on the right megahertz? Yes, we do this time. <laughs> so you, we're not going to sound like we're on sleeping pills? No, I hope not. Well, <laughs> I fixed that. You it took a lot of it. fixing. It took over 24 hours of, of... I know, but wouldn't it be easier to just do it the right way to, to begin with? Yes, it would. But, you know, there are many, many technical uh, <laughs> procedures involved in getting I the know. show uploaded, you know. And so and, and you told me tonight that we were all set and all ready to go. Little did I know that we would spend 20 minutes with you fucking around well, with shit. because I was trying... I was experimenting with wires and, uh, and uh, what do you yes. call those, adapters, to adapters. see if we could possibly... Be stereo. Be stereo. I and I don't understand because you're on the left and I'm on the right. And why do you have a why do you have a problem with that? I, I I just don't get it. Why do you why you have a problem with? It? That's the way it should be. It's a stereo show. Uh-huh. You got two guys talking. There We've is, got we got some, there's one one of a, somebody I don't know who listens. Clint. 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 Cl- listen. Clint, but what his left speaker doesn't work. Well, it's because he's <laughs> I mean, got to go plug it in. So that's fucked up. You know, so he's only hearing like uh, me or you. And well, without you know, the balance, the show is only half a show. Yeah, I know it's only half a show, but you know, if you listen to the Beatles, I was just going to say I know the Beatles recorded that way, and that's, and, and that's and why the Beatles were ne- never amounted to anything. Yeah, because, that's because, because of the way they because were people people would be you know have their speaker one speaker would be blown. If up. a speaker was blown, people those are the people that say <laughs> the Beatles they suck. <laughs> Oh my goodness! So, um, and you've been trying to figure out a song all week. Right? I know. Th- th- it's been more than a week. It's been about ten days. And Bill or Elliot, if you've heard this song before, it starts out with a guitar lick, and this is driving me crazy because I can't figure out the name of the song or what song it is. Because all I remember is we've been through a, f- a number of Jimi Hendrix albums. Yeah, it's not Hendrix. I think it could be Cream. I don't think it's Cream. It might, or it might just be Clapton. Anyway, the guitar lick is See, I don't remember where yeah, it goes happens after that. Right. I just remember that part. Yeah, it's driving me nuts. Driving me totally crazy. So, how was your day? My day was pretty good. Yeah. So I didn't leave the house at all. Yeah, you're kind of a shelter type person. No, I was busy. I was rolling cigarettes. Give I me shelter. I was, I was, <laughs> I was actually uh, doing some music stuff, in here, which I'm going to put on in, as, as, as uh, later on. Something that was actually uh, finished and, and mixed just hours ago. Actually. That was the song that you asked me to play bass on, and right. then you decided that you. Well, I you woke up this morning and player. I said, "Well, Smudgy's working. I'm going to go pick up the bass and find." bass line which took me a couple took me about an hour to come up with something because right. i don't know why i couldn't come up with something it was well and and that was the same song is that the same song you played for me and i came up with something right away 
came up with something. Yeah, you were coming up with something, but it was off key. Well, it's because your bass is off. Your bass is out oh, of key. Oh, please. Okay. All right. Well, let's throw in a song. Okay. Um, uh, this is a song by Taj Mahal. Made uh, uh, made re-famous by the Blues Brothers uh, when they did their album uh, Sh- Shotgun Full of Blues or something. Or Briefcase Full of Blues. They did that album Briefcase Full of Blues before they did the movie. Okay. I got that album when I was 16 for my Christmas present. I got the... Uh, when I was 16, my parents said, what do you want for Christmas? And I said, I want The Wall by Pink Floyd. Uh-huh. And I want uh, Briefcase Full of Blues. And... Um, no, you know what? I'm an idiot. Because I think I'm going to do uh, She Caught the Katie. We could either do She Caught the Katie or we could... No, the Taj Mahal was... Um, anyway. Make up your mind, man. Because I've got two of those. So- I got two songs from... Oh, okay, uh, Taj Mahal is She Caught the Katie. That's actually from the Blues Brothers movie. I'm sorry. I'm a little <laughs> schizo tonight. Uh, so this is from the Blues Brothers movie, but it's not the Blues Brothers what singing it. What is it? It's, we, it's what, Taj what have we Mahal. decided on? It's Taj Mahal, and it's, she, and it's called She Caught the Katie. Okay. Song. I love yeah. that song. That was 
yeah, you'll hear it when you do the mix. Yeah, right. I know. See, I got confused because the other song I want to do is uh, King Floyd, and that's Groove Me, and that is off a briefcase full of blues, but we'll wait a little bit. We'll uh, say stupid things for a while. For him. I had a, a pretty good day from work. I had a day from hell yesterday. Yeah, I know. You didn't get done until 5.30. It so. was like 5.30. You were going to come over last night, and it just ran so late. Yeah, I know. Uh, yesterday was a day from hell. Um, You're not going to talk about work again. No, I'm not going to talk about work again. Um, I made a lot of money, though. I'll give it that. That's good. But it was not an enjoyable way to make a lot of money. Today was. So, uh, You want to talk about where you're going the next uh, couple fortnights? I'm going to Florida on Friday. You go Thursday. Ahead. Thursday night, I leave. Yeah. Baseball, spring training, college, Fort Myers. Florida. Yep. I'm going to be, uh, while they're uh, doing their little baseball thing, I'm going to be uh, wrestling the alligators in the swamp. And you're going to bring us an alligator home, aren't you? Yes, I am. We're going to butcher got a, it. You know, I bought alligator yesterday. It's funny. It's just kind of ironic that I was at the store and saw these alligator steaks, frozen alligator steaks, farm raised. Uh-huh. And uh, I bought them. And then today I get a call from my dispatcher saying you're going to Florida. But they don't have, do they have gators in Florida? Yeah, they have gators in Florida. Oh, okay. How about it's you? It's the state bird. <laughs> I think it is or something. It's the state something. Is it really? The state. Well, uh, I don't know. I'm uh, assuming it is. It's it's down there. I mean, they, they don't have gators in, you know, Nebraska. No, no, they don't have gators in Nebraska. Oh, I suppose Florida gators. That's a, a school down there. Gatorade. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, that was for the uh, Florida Gators. The Florida Gators, yeah. It was an interesting commercial when I saw that. Um, and then I'm going to New Orleans after that. Yeah. With the same baseball man? No, no. This is a high school oh. band thing, and that, that leaves about four days after I get back from back from Florida. I think that so leaves, why don't, th- why don't, they, just, right here. Why don't they just keep you down there? I get back from Florida on the 14th, and then I leave on the 18th for uh, New Orleans get back on the 24th. That means basically for the whole month whole month of March I won't see you at all. Yeah, but the whole month of March you'll be I'm someplace enjoying spring. You'll be someplace warm. I know. And then and then I come back, I have another dental appointment where I get that really good sedation. <laughs> and then <laughs> I start the snappers for 6 months baseball. Yeah. So, my summer begins Thursday. Okay. I'm kind of happy about that. You still got your snow shovel out, right? I still have my snow shovel. Keep it out. Okay. Maybe a maybe a bullshit shovel I should have. And and I'll have a nice tan at the end of March. (laughs) I'll be looking like who's that guy? George Hamilton, the toast guy. Yeah, George Hamilton. Yep. Yeah, that's me. Man, I'm not even drinking anything right Yeah, now. I know. This would be the first show that you've ever done. Stone no, Cold I, no I, di- I did. Oh, I think the last show I was totally sober. I kind of slowed down on my drinking. Yeah. The, the, Canadian Club is, the Canadian Club is just not filtering. I mean, I should say the liver isn't filtering <laughs> the Canadian Club. <laughs> so I've been drinking wine more, which has been working pretty good. I'm feeling a lot better. Yeah, but you just done coffee tonight. I, w- I don't even have coffee. I have nothing. You have right nothing. Now. Nothing. And I'm starving. I mean, not starving. I'm thirsty. Thirsty. Yeah, the show got, is making me thirsty. <laughs> <laughs> I got a nice little red dog down here if you wanted one. No, you know what? I'm thinking of uh, just plain water. Plain water. Filters filters, uh, filters your soul. Water. I have lingonberry juice, too. I picked up at Ikea. I concentrate. This stuff is awesome. Yeah. Uh, uh. And believe it or not, I have Coca-Cola, so which I don't drink. That? I don't. Drink. Yeah, it's the big liter bottle. I've been working on that for like a month. Well, I don't drink that liquid candy shit. Yeah. But uh, you know, I like a little bit of it in a tumbler on the rocks. It settles my stomach. I'm like a little old lady. Tumbler, tumbling Tumblr. like tumbling dice. Get it? Oh, yeah. With the Rolling Stones. Yeah. With yeah. The I rolling get, I get, you, is it a joke? Yeah, no, no. Oh. Just I've been on a Stones kick for the last couple of weeks. Uh-huh. So that's why the, all the Stones is playing in the background. In your head. 
in my the, in the background of my head, I can hear it right now. <laughs> I'm hearing the Stones singing. You got to roll me, uh-uh. ooh, de, ooh, de. you got to roll me. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. It's fine, you're fine. No, I'm an idiot. Yeah. I've been thinking about the Octomom, Octomom. I still haven't. I caught smudgy kiss in the Octomom. I still have, I have no <laughs> idea what you're talking about. You should see her, she's kind of ugly. She's really like weird looking. And I was, some, I don't know. I seen these pictures of her like, like kissing on her kids, and it was gross. It's just no. like, oh God, take a shower, man. Oh, gross. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay. So now here's the other Blues Brothers song. That's not really. That was a Blues Brothers song, but it's King Floyd. It's Groove Me. It's what? King Floyd. King Floyd. King Floyd. Okay. It's called Groove Me. Okay. Good. This gives me an opportunity to fill up a tumbler of ice. And ice. Coca-Cola. Cola. Okay, let's play the song. Go for it. Song sure made you thirsty. So, um, yes, sir. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to think of a. Uh, I don't have anything else to talk about. <laughs> Neither do I. <laughs> I mean, I'm totally drawing a blank here. Uh, uh, can't really talk about the economy because that's just going to hell. And your lack of response mean you agree, you agree or disagree? Or is this not a political show? Is this not the place we should be talking about this? I really I don't 
I, okay. you know, I think it's been beaten into the ground by everybody else. Yeah, that's true. Could talk about um, the opera I went to. That's true. Your uh, little baby girl. Uh, we already the, uh, already wrote a blog about that. She was one of. It was pretty cool though, because she had on a uh, a head a, a ham suit. No, she had no. <laughs> like in Kill a Mockingbird. No, no. <laughs> she did have on a headset with a microphone, and you know, it was wired up to where she could like radio directions to other people. That was pretty cool. Oh, she did have that. Mm-hmm. Well, she was a stage director. Well, assistant, a stage director, and there was two other assistant stage directors. I see. Yeah. I didn't. I don't think. And this was for the opera *Marriage of Figaro*, which Mar- was a production at the UW, at University of Wisconsin Whitewater. Yeah. Um, oh, you know what they're doing next? That is opening in April. Macbeth. Macbeth. Yep, they're doing uh, Macbeth end of April. I thought they would be doing uh, a stage version of Disney's *That Dawn Cat*. Yeah, that's I what I'm kind of hoping. That's <laughs> what I was hoping for. Or is that what they're doing at the Armory? No, the Armory is going to be doing Guys and Dolls. Oh. Give us, uh, in your best crooning, give us some Guys and Dolls. I don't know any. Yeah, you do. No, I Luck don't. be a lady tonight. Luck be a lady tonight. Yeah. You know, Frank was in that movie. Was he really? Yeah. Frank is uh, the one of the main that's dudes. Not the kind of Frank. This isn't, this isn't the Frank movies I watch. I like Frankie Machine in uh, Man with the Golden Arm. Oh, okay. Here to eternity. He was in that. I thought suddenly. I thought another male dude was in from here to eternity. There was a few of them. Uh, Burt Lancaster. Burt Lancaster. That's what I'm thinking of. And uh, Ernest Borgnine. I mean, no. Um, um, well, who's the guy that played uh, 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 the dad in the Brady Bunch? No, it wasn't him either. I. Uh, uh, he was gay. Get, get out of here. Was no, he really? yeah, the dad on the Brady Bunch. You gay. fucking blew my mind the other night telling me that Raymond Burr was gay. Yeah, Raymond Burr was gay. And then we Wikipedia'd him, and sure enough. Yep. He owned a wine farm with his uh, partner. Yep. He and wound up with the wine farm after Raymond Burr... Uh, after Raymond Burr died, his partner wind up, uh, wound up with a wine farm. And, and his family had a bit of a his, uh, daughter had a bit, His and daughter had a big problem There's always one. So what happened to the wheelchair? Uh, that was just <laughs> that was a, a you know a prop a prop. Oh, I, I yeah. Know. We saw Raymond Burr in uh, Rear Window the other night. You know, I had a friend named Tim Burr. <laughs> <laughs> did he make movies? No, he didn't. But he did have a pet bee named Earl. Oh. And I have Earl in the other room. You've seen Earl. I've seen Earl the pet bee, the dead pet bee in the pet bee casket. Yep. That's a whole other show altogether. <laughs> <laughs> that goes back to your days with your stealing days, stealing on the trains. A tiger called me today, and I was <laughs> in the middle of the day, and uh, and I was uh, headed to the, or I was at, uh, headed towards, and then I finished the conversation. I was at the uh, Canadian Pacific Railway uh, stop in Portage, where you can pick up the. You can pick up the Amtrak in Portage. Okay. And uh, he asked me if there was any trains hanging out, just standing there. And I said, well, yeah, there's one right there. And he says, oh, well, why don't you go check out some of the boxcars? Pop open a boxcar. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't have any boxcars. So well, for a lot. <laughs> about as soon as he asked me to go check out the boxcars, the train started moving. Yeah, so I, bu- I've, I have been preferring it, on moving I'm moving trains before I was throwing TVs out onto the track. Yeah, but see, I don't. These weren't those kind of box cars because these were uh, held uh, liquid. You know them liquid cars. Oh, those are useless. Yeah, no. No, there, no, no. there was there wasn't a good box car to be found yeah. there. You get yourself a nice refrigerated Fruit Growers <laughs> Express. <laughs> you know what you're gonna get ninety percent of the time? Um, mushrooms. Beer. Beer. Yep. <laughs> Beer. Frosty cold beers. I got river cleaner once. What is river cleaner? It's big, like 50, 55 gallon drums of chemical you pour into a river, and and all of a sudden you can take a murky, muddy, shitty river and turn it into a crisp, crisp pristine blue. And how much did you get for that? <laughs> Nothing. I threw it onto the tracks. I'm like, what the fuck are we going to do with this? And we left it there. I got all that shit around. 
River cleaner. What is this river cleaner? <laughs> That's when you were stealing <laughs> off boxcars. Of with Labby. You and Labby stealing off the boxcars. Yeah. Boxcar Labby. Boxcar Labby. <laughs> well, this is turning into a pretty poor but, effort. Uh, excuse me. It's the Coca Cola again. It's the Coca Cola talking. You gonna play yourself? You gonna play one of uh, a Tiger original? Yeah, yeah, play a Tiger original. I wrote this one this week. It's really brand new. Really brand spanking new. Yeah. Is this what I'm it's supposed to be playing on? Yeah, yeah. I want you to do bass for this yet. Then why are you playing? So this yet? is like an un. Well, it's it's an unfinished thing because I need to redo the drums. I want Smudgy to redo the bass, but I put some bass on it today. So why are you wasting people's time? And then times? I quickly. Uh, why are you wasting people's mixed time with it? it? Because I wanted to, I wanted to have it put together so I could actually oh. kind of hear it, and you know. Oh, okay. So it's 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 barely presentable right now as it is, but it'll if it, the final version, you know, I, uh, which will probably. It's be a good the song, though. I I already heard it, and I really liked it. I mean, I heard it without. I'm probably even going to change the title of it, which is Laundry Day. Yeah. Yeah, no, I don't like that title. But I um, I heard it, and I listened to it enough to. Uh, uh, play some on it, and uh, I liked it. I liked it quite a bit. Oh. What? Oh, and I took that break and I absolutely chopped it right out. Oh, okay, good. There was a slight little. It's an interesting what I did with it. It's it, it does ha it is a slight break, but it's only like for like two measures. <laughs> <laughs> it's interesting. It works though. I, it's it was it's hard to chop and keep things in time. Yeah. So bad. It was a it was a a, a production uh, um, phenomenon. Phenomenon. Laundry day. George Martin would have been very proud. By Mr. Bamboo. Studied a lot everything Was my intention to be a Nobel Prize winner I'd take the money and I'd, I'd play the lottery I'd buy a big house
time is this weekend is get out of here no they moved it back a month you know why because of uh the economy <laughs> yeah kind of sort of they moved um i i saw i don't know this for sure i was going to look at a calendar and i forgot but i could have sworn i seen a, uh, a sign up at one of the places i was delivering at saying that daylight savings time was this weekend and i thought oh yeah that's right they wanted to move daylight savings time up because it was always in April before. I went by a bank last night and it had. Uh, you did you steal from it? Holy shit! What am I seeing here on Sunday? I, even with my glasses, I can't read that. Mm. Daylight. I think, it here. I think it starts on Sunday. I really do. Give it here. Can you read that? Yeah, I can read that. My glasses, I can't read it in the subdued light here at Bamboo Studios. I try to keep it. Uh, no, very I can't sexy. read it either. <laughs> let, let me stand into this life. But I think uh, the reason they, they wanted to move it ahead a month was so that... Uh, <coughs> it says daylight savings time begins. Okay. Sunday the 8th. Don't forget to spring ahead. Spring ahead. But the reason for that is uh, so people will use less electricity at night lighting up their houses because then they have an hour more of daylight outside. When it gets dark, you turn your lights on. I don't care what time the right. clock says. Right, but I mean, if it gets dark at 5 o'clock and you go to bed at 10 o'clock, then your lights are on for five hours. But if it gets dark at 6 o'clock, then your lights are only on for four hours. It, 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 I'm, I'm pretty sure that they moved it back a month to try to save electricity. That's genius. <laughs> well, How you figure this stuff out is beyond me. I'm not figuring, figuring this out. This is what I... I'm sure that I either read or heard someplace, oh. but I can't, I can't validate it. But you've heard nothing about the Octo Mom. I have never. Mom. <laughs> no, I, I do have my priorities, <laughs> and my priorities are not <laughs> listening to Nancy Chase. I don't listen to her. I can't. No, I don't. Is it Nancy? Her. Did I have her name it's right? It's just CNN. CNN is is, uh, is obsessed with uh, okay. well, all those all the news channels, uh, except for the evening. You won't see it on Lou Dobbs. And, and I won't see it on ESPN. No. If, if I'm not going to see the Octomom on ESPN, then I'm most likely not going to well, hear about it. <laughs> unless the Octomom does something sports-related. I mean, if she becomes a NASCAR driver or something, I'm sure we'll see a lot of the Octomom. Yeah, well. Uh, so, yeah, it is spring. We got uh, springs on the 20th is on a, a Friday. In um, two and a half weeks. Don't even you don't have to look at your calendar. Yeah, I know no, I'm not. I, I just it's hard to believe that because it's been so cold out. Yeah, I know. You know it might be. Um, it's supposed to be fifty on Saturday. No, no, no. <laughs> this week it's going to be cold. It's supposed to be fifty on Thursday though. Tomorrow we might hit forty-one, and uh, Thursday we might hit fifty. Awesome. Maybe you can get out with a hoe. <laughs> no, I, 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 I divorced. I already divorced my hoe. <laughs> the hoe's living in in uh, Arkansas. <laughs> By the way, you know when I go to New Orleans, uh -huh. you know where I will most likely pick up the bus. Where? In Blavel. Oh, really? You're going to be in Blavel, Arkansas? <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's usually where we switch. Because her mother don't live in Blavel no more. Her mother lives in Jonesboro. Because it's a lot nicer in Jonesboro. Jonesboro, big city. Jonesboro. Jonesboro's a big city. I know. So she she don't live in Bible no more. They had one of those school shootings one of those days, you know, <laughs> in, in Jonesboro. Remember that? He was. Oh, was that in Jonesboro, Arkansas? I thought yep. that was Jonesboro somewhere else. No, it was Arkansas. 
It's okay that I talk this way because I was married to a southern woman from Blyville, Arkansas for six years. And if I can put up with that shit for six years, I can talk southern as much as I want to. Doesn't bother me a bit. Yeah. But I think you can drive from Blavo to Jonesboro on a tank of gas easily. Uh, it's not that far, no. Kristen, um, my stepdaughter when I was married to Elizabeth's mother, still lives in Blavo. And um, I wrote a blog on this on, uh, on OP when Elizabeth graduated that she came up, uh, she and her husband came up. Uh, we got to know each other again. It was really nice. And she's called me a couple times since. Hmm. Yeah, it's been nice. That's good. Yeah. Other than that, nothing exciting happening in my life. The bank hasn't called tonight. <laughs> Not yet, anyway. It's early still. <laughs> we don't need to even go there. <laughs> don't even need to go there. It's not my fault, but anyway. Yeah. About ready to wrap it up. You ready to wrap it up already? This will be the shortest Tiger and Smudgy show ever. Uh, really? We've got three songs. We're going to have another one. Oh, really? Yeah, I got another one. I, I, um, excuse me, I just had to. Being that I smoke cigarettes, I gener- my body generates a lot of phlegm. I have to uh, clear my nostrils quite often. No, I got, um, I wanted to play this song. <laughs> Thanks, Tiger. Um, because I got it, uh, I started thinking about uh, when, uh, around the spring, uh, Super Bowl time, when Springsteen was the uh, halftime entertainment. Halftime en- entertainment, yeah. I got it, started thinking about sing- uh, singers and storytellers. And I started um, thinking about songs that I, and I started to listen to uh, some old Springsteen and just what, you, what a great story he could tell with Rosalita, a, a great song, great story. And uh, all of his, and then I started singing about other people, or started thinking about other people and other songs that I dearly loved um, that were storytellers and songwriters. And that's why I wanted to play um, a Rod Stewart song and he does Rod has a lot of he's got a lot of you know crappy songs well not crappy I don't, I don't want to say crappy because I could never write a song to save my life he's got a lot of you know later on in his career he right, wrote a lot you of you know you're in my heart you're in my head yeah, what right. the hell is that <laughs> you know it's vomit yeah, oh yeah but this is I, I don't know the era this comes from if it's Small Faces or if it's Rod Stewart but this is um when I heard this song, uh, knocked me on my uh, took us. You like that word? I th- yeah, I think it's a Jewish word, but go on. <laughs> took us? <laughs> it's like shtickle. <laughs> shtickle? I don't yeah. even know. What does shtickle mean? A shtickle, it's a, it's a little little, little bit. Just a, you know, a oh, sh- just a shtickle. It's okay. a shtickle. But it knocked me on my took us. Okay. And I think the first time I really heard it was when, um, oh, there was this band that did... Uh, Oh, some bad song, and they covered it. I don't know. Oh, Georgia, Georgia Satellites covered this song okay. on their first album. The intro is longer than the album. Yeah, well, it probably. doesn't matter. We've only been, we haven't even been talking for half an hour. Um, uh, the, the song is, it just fascinated me the first time I ever heard it because it takes so long for to get around to the chorus, and I, and I just love it, and I love the way how he tells a story. And the name of the song is Every Picture Tells a Story. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> it's a great song. It's just it's just the way that the way the music flows and how the verses a verse goes into a verse, goes into a verse, goes into a verse. And then you finally hit the chorus at the end. There, there's no. You did point that out to me. Verse, chorus, verse, chorus. So nice. Right, so right. nice.
Quote your nose, Dickens, and share your key. 